In this video, we will be going over the whole process of how to create this scene from scratch, which demonstrates how a geostationary orbit orbits the Earth at the same rate that Earth itself rotates. In the GitHub repository, we've added a new directory that only contains the geo spice kernel. So in this video, we'll be walking through how to go from trajectory data to a full scene in the inertial frame. The first thing we want to do when creating a new scene is to recursively copy the directory of a scene we already have that is most like the one we want to make. So in this case, since we are making an Earth orbit scene, we'll be copying the Sun synchronous orbit scene from the third video in this series. So we can do that by calling the recursive copy command, which is cp-r ct003 sun synchronous orbit, and then we'll copy that into the new directory, call it geo inertial. And we'll also want to copy a bash script, which it can be any one, but we'll just do the same one for convenience. So we'll go cp ct003 run sun synchronous orbit to ct005 and run geo inertial.sh. Now moving to a text editor, we can see ct005 and then geo inertial and run geo inertial.sh. So the first thing we can do is change these directories to be the correct ones, which is ct005 inertial scene from scratch. And then we'll want to do geo inertial, oops, geo inertial. And then we can just copy that to the bottom one. Next, we can go into the scene directory. We can start with a load script where it's going to be the same, but just for good organization, we can change the name to geostationary. Next is a spice catalog, which we're going to change here from SSO to geo. And then just to be explicit again, we can do geostationary. And notice that the geo.bsp is one directory up. So we're going to want to move it in here. Or we can just do this. We can go dot dot slash geo.bsp. But in this case, it's going to be better organization if we just move it to this directory. And one quick thing, we're going to want to get the spice ID and the time coverage of the geo kernel. So we can do that again with brief geo inertial and then geo.bsp. We see that the body ID is negative 997 and it goes from August 5th to August 15th, 2021. Now we can move on to the spacecraft catalog here where again, we can just change the name geostationary. We'll change this instead of SSO, we'll have geo. We saw that it was August, it's going to be August 15. And we can start it there. Earth spice, again, the spice ID is going to be 997 and we can keep the same colors. Now onto the Python script, we're gonna wanna change some things here right off the bat. We'll go geo spacecraft. We'll go to August 15. We'll change this to geo spacecraft. And then position and orientation of the camera, we're gonna change manually, but for now we'll keep it like that. And then we can erase all these. Let's just say for this case, we're gonna wanna do this for the geo, oops, geo spacecraft like that. And we can just start the scene right there. So with all that, we're ready to run the scene. And a quick correction, I actually meant August 5th instead of 15th and these two in the spacecraft and the Python scripts because that's when the coverage of the spice kernel starts. So with all that, we can now run the scene, run geo inertial, which is going to start at the initial view that we had in the sun synchronous orbits video. So we're gonna wanna change that. So if we go here, zoom in, we see the geo spacecraft or zoom out. And then if we fast forward a day, we're gonna be able to see the whole orbit of the geo spacecraft since its period is one sidereal day. And now we're gonna set the initial uh, view that we want. So say we wanna again be on the sunlit side of earth. We wanna rotate a little bit have a little bit of inclination with respect to the orbit and maybe we get the Milky Way in the, in the background. So we have, this is a pretty good view here, make sure it's centered and we'll call that good. So then, and maybe rotate a little bit. So then now just as in the last video, we can go file, copy state URL to clipboard. We can move this out of the way for now. We can say, bring up a new terminal. We can say parse Cosmo URL, double quote, paste, double quote. We can copy this, move this away for now, and then paste it into here. Paste, and then one thing that we can do is also set this duration to one day. So each day that orbit line will fade, which will make it look nicer as we'll see. So now we can exit out of Cosmographia over there, make sure everything is saved, saved, and run that scene again. 
and it should start out at that view that we specified. And then we want to fast forward a day in the script as well. And then we, we're going to go one ahead and start actually running the scene. So what we can do instead of August 5th, we can say August 6th. So we already have one full orbit. And then show direction vector. And then we can usually like to wait a little bit. So like Cosmo dot wait maybe one more second. And then Cosmo dot set the time rate to something like 5,000 uh, times regular time. Cosmo dot unpause. Cosmo dot wait. We'll let it wait for five and we'll see how that goes. So then we can run geo inertial again. No errors in the Python. This is good. So now we have this here. We have the scene starting and it's just going to go like this for five seconds. And then one thing we can do as we showed in the beginning of the video, we can go ahead and rotate upwards like this in the script. So then we can see the top down view. And actually, I see here that we're going to actually want to change this view because it wasn't far enough away to get the full orbit when we go ahead and rotate like that. So let's just scroll back a little bit and make sure it's still at the right orientation. Right about there. And that should be a good distance and maybe down a little bit like that. So we're going to redo that copy state URL to clipboard. And then again, go here, parse Cosmo URL. Put that in there, copy that away, paste that in here. So we have that. So then after we unpause, wait for five, we're going to say cosmo.circle center up. Say for, I guess, we're going to do 75 degrees and we'll do that for five seconds. Then maybe we'll wait another five seconds here and then pause it at the end. So then let's hope there's no errors. That looks good. So we have the scene again. Oh, that's actually a lot more inclined than I wanted. So we'll have to redo that. But then we have the circle center up, which seems to be about right. We can zoom out probably a little bit more. So then if we go back down, this is inclined, which we didn't want. So we go and over here, the Milky Way in the background. So then we do that right there. File copy state URL to clipboard. Same thing. Again, this is an iterative process when we make the scene, so it's kind of just how it goes. Copy. Oops. Copy there. Paste. Do that. And then maybe we can speed it up a little bit too. And that should be good. That looks better. And then we'll watch it go. See if that rotation's right. Uh, Geospacecraft a little bit out of the scene. So we'll just have to iterate again, get a better view, maybe zoom out a little bit more. And then when we rotate like that, that should be good. But anyways, that's a general gist of how you go about iterating through these, setting the camera precision and orientations, and then experimenting with the commands to create these types of scenes. Now that we've gone over scenes in the inertial frame, in the next video, we'll be going over scenes in the Earth body fixed frame, IAU Earth, to get better views of what different orbits ground tracks look like. So let us know if you have any questions or comments about this video, and we'll see you in the next one.